Not sure what this girl's doing. I think she's practicing her swimming. What's your name? <laughs> His name is Ian. Sun Chao. So we're back in Vimlong, two and a half years after leaving. Staying back at the Mekong Pottery Homestay. We just walked along the Mekong River into town, saying hello to everybody on the way. I haven't seen tourists here for two and a half years. And as ever, the locals are lovely, smiley, and friendly. Lost count of the number of times we've shouted hello, some chow on the way down here. Our room and here on the wall the photos and that's us from our first day. That's me. And then up there. How awesome is that? Gorgeous room. So since we were last here, they've added air conditioning. Units up there on the wall. They just started this B and B. Literally, as COVID hit, and this is a bathroom. It's kind of a semi-outdoor bathroom. Rather beautiful. Yeah, this one really has a superb eye for design. Look at that. The only way to travel in Vietnam. Yeah. He only does luxury travel for us. It's gonna take a long time to get to Ho Chi Minh City, yeah, near this. The Mekong or a tributary of the Mekong? Tributary of the Mekong. The big Mekong River is behind us, over there, next to the ferry. Wow. So Yanni well, says you need 10 tw 20 tons of this rice husk yeah. to feed the fire. How many days is the kiln fire for, Yanni? 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. <laughs> 10 days. 10 days. So this is day two. And the kilns go up to 900 degrees centigrade. And he's collecting the ash and then put it there for. So Yenny told us 5,000 pots in each kiln and then they take two days to cool down enough to be able to get the pots out of the kiln. Yeah, this is day five. This is day five. Over there is day two and day, I guess, 11, I think, one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is very old now. You can see nothing's happening and don't go inside. So what is this, Yanni? This is an old... Uh, kiln. It's been around for like 20 years or something and then you need every 15 years to renovate it. So they're slowly taking everything out. Like you can see how shabby it is with the wall is slowly coming up. Oh. Scary. You yeah. see bricks that might fall out yeah. of the ceiling. So they're renovating the, the this one. Gate is too old. So we have to choose our mold. So Caroline's going to go for some animal. Probably. We can start with pots first, pot. so pot you first. can get yeah, used yeah. to the yeah. what's going on, and then we 
Fine. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. It's as easy as that. And then slowly take it up. Okay. Wow. Straight out. Here you go. Perfect pot. Perfect. So this is the draft. When we finish step one, step two, we have a lady over there showing you how to polish it with sponge okay. and a little wire and everything. So here you go. And with, now, with some careful editing. That's going to be my pot in the edit. Truth, Caroline. This is my amazing snail pottery, which we're now going to do the next stage of. This is so fun. I can do this on it. And it's me! Mop, hi, ba! Woo! We good! Yay! Replaced to take the heat of the furnace, I guess. The furnace? The heat. The, the heat. furnace, yeah. So this is take two where Yanni doesn't look at me blankly because she's not a clue what I've just said. <laughs> a clue.